Triangles. Find the missing angle. What are they? Triangles are a polygon with three sides and three vertices. Why? Triangles can help you find the height of a building. Interesting fact. The chameleon's eyes can rotate and focus separately on 180 degree arcs, so they can see two different objects at the same time. This gives them a full 360 degree field of vision. Now, here are the examples we're going to be discussing in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Step two, follow order of operations. Now let's read the question. Find the missing angle X. Let's take a look at the triangle that they gave us. They gave us two measurements, 68 degrees and 48 degrees. We know that the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can say the orange angle or angle CAB plus the green angle or angle ABC plus the yellow angle or angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees. Another reason why this is the case is if we put all the angles together, they form a half circle, which is also 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and substitute what we know, 68 degrees and 48 degrees into what we have already. Now we have 68 degrees plus X plus 48 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side by adding 68 degrees and 48 degrees. And the result of that is 116 degrees. Now we have X plus 116 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Since we are solving for X, we need to move that plus 116 degrees to the other side. And the inverse of plus is subtraction. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 116 degrees on the left hand side. Those numbers cancel. Since we did it to the left hand side, we now need to do it to the right hand side. And now we're going to subtract 180 degrees and 116 degrees. And the result of that is 64 degrees. So the missing angle or X is 64 degrees. That is example one. Now let's move on to example two. Let's read the question. Find the missing angle X. Let's take a look at this triangle. They only gave us one measurement, 65 degrees. So can we find the missing angle? We need to know two angles in a triangle so we can find the third. And in this case we can because this triangle is an isosceles triangle because two of the lines have hatch marks in the middle which means the two lines have the same measurement. And the two angles that are opposite the hatch marks, the orange angle and the yellow angle are the same which means the yellow angle is also 65 degrees. We know the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and write down that the orange angle or angle CAB plus the green angle or angle ABC plus the yellow angle or angle BCA is equal to 180 degrees. Another way of thinking about this is, is to put all the angles together and it forms a half circle, which is also 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and substitute what we know into what we have already. And now we have 65 degrees for the orange angle plus X for the green angle plus 65 degrees for the yellow angle. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side by adding the two 65 degrees angles and the result of that is 130 degrees. And now we have X plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. And now we need to move that plus 130 degrees since we are solving for X and the inverse of plus is subtraction. So now we're going to subtract 130 degrees on the left hand side. Those two numbers cancel. Since we did it to the left hand side, we now need to do it to the right hand side. And now we're going to subtract 180 degrees and 130 degrees. And the result of that is 50 degrees. So our missing angle X is 50 degrees. And that is the answer for example two. Let's move on to example three. Let's read the question. Find the missing angle X. Let's take a look at the triangle that they gave us. They didn't give us any measurements. So can we find the missing angle? Remember, we need to know two angles in a triangle to find the third. And in this case, yes we can because this triangle is an equilateral triangle. And that is because the hash marks indicate each line has the same measurement, which means all the angles are the same. And some of you may already know what that is, but we're going to go ahead and continue just as a refresher. We know that the sum of the triangle is 180 degrees, so we can write down the orange angle or angle CAB 
plus the green angle, or angle ABC, plus the yellow angle, or angle BCA, is equal to 180 degrees. Another reason why this is the case is if we put all the angles together, it forms a half circle, which is 180 degrees. And since we know the total is 180 degrees, we know that all the angles are the same, and we have three angles, so we can go ahead and divide 180 by 3 to get 60 degrees for each angle. Let's go ahead and substitute what we know into what we have already. Now we have 6 degrees for the orange angle, plus 6 degrees for the green angle, plus 6 degrees for the yellow angle, and that is equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side by adding the first 6 degree angle and the second 60 degree angle, and the result of that is 120 degrees. And now we have 120 degrees plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Let's continue to simplify the left hand side by adding 120 degrees plus 60 degrees, and the result of that is 180 degrees. And now we have 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees, and that is always true. So now we can definitely say the missing angle X is equal to 60 degrees, and that is example three. Now let's take a look at example four. Let's read the question, find the missing angle X. Let's take a look at the triangle that they gave us. They gave us one measurement, 82 degrees. So can we find the missing angle X? Remember, we need to know two angles inside of a triangle to find a third. And in this case, we can because this triangle is an isosceles triangle. And that is because two of the lines have hatch marks in the middle, which means the two lines have the same measurement. And the two angles across from the hatch marks, the orange angle and the yellow angle, are the same. So that means the yellow angle is X just as it is for the orange angle. And we know that the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, so we can write down the orange angle, or angle CAB, plus the green angle, or angle ABC, plus the yellow angle, or angle BCA, is equal to 180 degrees. Another way of thinking about it is, when we put all the angles together, it forms a half circle, which is also 180 degrees. Let's substitute what we know into what we have already. And now we have X for the orange angle, plus 82 degrees for the green angle, plus X for the yellow angle, and that is equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and move that plus 82 degrees to the other side, and the inverse of plus is subtraction. So we're going to go ahead and subtract 82 degrees on the left-hand side. Those numbers cancel, and now we need to do it to the right-hand side since we did it to the left hand side, and now we're going to subtract 180 degrees and 82 degrees, and the result of that is 98 degrees. Now we have x plus x is equal to 98 degrees, and now we need to think of a number. When we add it to itself, the result is 98 degrees, and that number is 49 degrees. And now we have 49 degrees plus 49 degrees is equal to 98 degrees. Another way of thinking about this is, the total is 98 degrees, and we have two angles that are the same, the orange angle and the yellow angle, so we can go ahead and divide 98 degrees by 2, and the result of that is 49 degrees. We did it two different ways, we had the same answer, so we can definitely say X for the missing angle is 49 degrees, that is example 4. Let's move on to example 5. Let's read the question, find the missing angle X. Let's take a look at the triangle. They only gave us one measurement, 18 degrees. Can we figure out the missing angle? Remember, we need to know two angles inside of a triangle to find the third. And in this case, we can, because this triangle is a right triangle. And let's take a look at the orange angle, or angle BAC. It is a square, and that square means that that angle is 90 degrees. And now we're gonna go ahead and make that angle like the others to help us a little bit down the road. We know the sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, so we can write down the orange angle, or angle CAB, plus the green angle, or angle ABC, plus the yellow angle, or angle BCA, is equal to 180 degrees. Another way of looking at it is if we add all the angles together, we get half a circle, and half a circle is 180 degrees, and that is why we made the orange angle 
look like the others. And now let's substitute what we know into what we have already. And now we have 9 degrees for the orange angle plus 18 degrees for the green angle plus X for the yellow angle. And that is equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and simplify the left hand side by adding 9 degrees and 18 degrees and the result of that is 108 degrees. And now we have 108 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees. Since we are solving for X, we need to move that positive 108 degrees to the other side. The symbol for positive is a plus sign and the inverse of plus is subtraction. So let's go ahead and subtract 108 degrees on the left hand side. Those two numbers cancel and since we did it to the left hand side, we now need to do it to the right hand side. And now we're going to subtract 180 degrees and 108 degrees and the result of that is 72 degrees. So that means X or our missing angle is 72 degrees and that is example 5. And now it is your turn so go ahead and pause the video so you can take your time to answer this question and I will show you the result in 3, 2, and 1. If you got it correct, congratulations. If not, there's always tomorrow.